everybody. I'm down here at the allotment. Um, we're down here. I'm with Kerry. Um, we're just going to have a little walk round, so we thought we'd show you and uh, so you can see the progress and what we're actually growing. Okay, bear with me. Hello. Hi. How are you all doing? Right, shall we take a tour? Yeah. So here we've got the potatoes. So we put them in. Maybe they're four, five weeks old. And they're growing really well. We've already had to earth them up a little bit, so they're growing really well. So we're really excited about that. So we're not in any means professional, we're just learning as we go. <clears throat> so those are the earlies. Um, and yeah. So then about two weeks ago, coming up I would say, we planted these potatoes, the second earlies, and already if Donna wants to bring the camera over, already they're sprouting up. So they're they're excellent. Obviously, we've got to keep weeding. That's an ongoing, <laughs> an ongoing task. <laughs> Definitely. So <clears throat> the potatoes, obviously, you sow from seed potatoes. So <clears throat> because we've never done this before, we were kind of not sure what would grow better if we planted directly or seeded directly or started off in the greenhouse so we've been working with a combination of the both so obviously those are from the seed potatoes these beans which the birds have been thoroughly enjoying um, we've had to put a net around them just to protect them a little bit from the birds but as you can see they're already flowering um, obviously the bees can get through here and um, we're planning on having our own hives um, and we're planning on having that on the fourth plot so the furthest away from here um, hopefully that's our, our goal is to maybe get that set up for the new year because obviously the bees have a season as well so next to <coughs> the beans <coughs> we've got peas <coughs> which again we they were um, already started off so um, they died back a little bit but they are doing really really well very beautiful thick beautiful stems um, so yeah you know what you, you I mean I love gardening so um, you know I'm always around the gardening checking on every plant every leaf so so with the allotment obviously now that's just on a greater scale but we're down here doing the same, like looking after our children. So what we've done here is we uh, we sowed some carrots, and uh, we are very pleased to say that yes, there are some weeds, but don't worry about the weeds. We have some carrots coming up. So that's four rows in total, two different varieties. I won't bore you with the specifics of that. Um, so that's great. These onions are doing great. They, their stems are coming along. You can already see uh, starting to bulb out there at the bottom, which is exciting. So this stuff is amazing. This is, is, is otherwise known as red spinach. And this is doing wonderfully. And basically what you do with this is you just harvest. So as it's growing and as you need it, you take the leaves. Obviously not too many from each plant. And... So I've took some leaves from here when folks have been coming down giving them a taster and as you can see the little new leaves have already started to come out. So basically from what I've researched and you know I saw the other day a lady she literally built a house with her kids obviously they had some help from other people but watching YouTube videos so we're learning to do the allotment watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And having a slightly compulsive, obsessive personality where you've got to find out all the information. So what I've picked up is you harvest frequently, but not too much. So a couple of leaves per plant as, as you need. So that stuff is delicious. And um, when I get home, I have to go and look to see if... Uh, my bearded dragon can eat that because that's lush. Okay, so there's potatoes, green peas, carrots. So here, again, directly sown, so we're hoping for the best. 
I put lettuces in. Because most of us at the Magdalene Centre are kind of basically vegetarian, so, you know, we like to eat leaves. So basically, yeah, so these little lettuces literally have sprung up. I am so excited. And obviously they're quite close together, so again, I'll just nip home. <laughs> YouTube, and I think we can pick some out as they're growing to make space for the others, as you do with carrots, and have them as young lettuces. You need to eat, 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 eat. Food, 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 fresh. So, we've got some borage here, and when you say borage, people go, what? But if you follow our newsletter, Nin is doing an article on borage because it is actually quite amazing and when, once it's grown it grows quite high it has beautiful flowers on it the bees love it our neighbor donna always talks about the beehives or the, the bees but if we have a little look over there our neighbor's got some some so hives so that's really close which is exciting see that. Okay. and we'll take a look around because we mentioned last weekend that there was a, a, a bee swarm that was on the fence post but now they've actually found a place where they're actually creating a hive so we'll take a look at that in a few minutes so yeah the, the forage which is lovely and a little bit of a garden starting here because obviously we've got this tree there's tree roots so you can't have anything too deep so a little bit of a garden to encourage the bees so here we planted some beans, but I think the birds, so we have our first fatality, that's life. You have to take the good with the bad. So a couple of them survived, but most of them did not. But that's not too bad because I've got some more growing in the greenhouse or, you know, in, in, at home. Um, so that a week or so, say 10 to 14 days, They'll be ready, and what we're going to do now is we're going to plant them, and then we're going to we're going to put netting on both sides of these canes just to protect them a little bit. So we had this piece of, of ground at the end of this bed, so we decided to make a a little bit of a planting area, a flower bed. So we've got some sweet peas planted here now, and eventually they will trail up. Uh, this archway and obviously we'll replicate that on that side with a I think these are pink I won't bore you with the Latin name but there's a pink and I've got some some ones there um, called almost black they look so black it's almost purple they're very lovely and then I've sown some wildflowers here but I've just did that on the weekend so nothing showing there yet but hopefully next video we'll have some wildflowers here So I just wanted to show you, we've put some strawberries in, so we're quite excited about that, so we'll have a look. Oh, and the grass is growing. <laughs> it is. We're so, no. we're so excited about the grass growing, we literally are weeding around the grass, <laughs> and it's very yeah. spindly, so yeah. we're dedicated. I nearly fell over that. <laughs> Yeah. So we put, we put some strawberries in, so again just a few days ago, but we just checked up on them and we've got some new growth, so they've taken. So we've just put them here because it's quite protected, so as they grow and hopefully start to fruit, obviously again, you know, we're living in um, synchronicity with the birds. We will move them <laughs> somewhere and, and put a net over them if needs be. Yeah. And so what... <laughs> Nim gave us a bag of coriander seeds, which you would think we're just going to maybe crush them up and put them in your food. But she insisted that if you planted them, they'd grow. So we thought, oh, we'll have a go. So I literally just threw a few down and we have coriander growing all along here. So at this stage of the allotment, I mean, it's six months from <coughs> seven foot brambles to this. That's quite an achievement. Everyone's doing so well. Um, 
it's a lot that we've accomplished so far. So reclaiming the soil from the brambles, although we have set ourselves a task that when the brambles all produce fruit, <laughs> we are going to harvest the acreages of brambles, <laughs> of uh, blackberries, and uh, make some jam or make something with it. So that'll be fun. So I'll just show you those bees, and then, yep, that'll be kind of it for this, this video. There's all the brambles. So, yeah, so a couple of weeks ago we saw this swarm of bees, and um, they disappeared and they came back, but now they seem to have split off, and seems to be setting up home so here's one lot and we literally are so as I'm standing I'm literally two feet away so yeah the honey will be bramble honey <laughs> <laughs> bramble honey from Have the Magdalene tinge, yeah. and then there's another lot over here so I won't go too far in there because you know who knows what's going on? But we can probably zoom in. That's it. So yeah, they're all there. So yeah. No NASA suit needed. Okay, cut it. So I hope you all enjoyed our little tour around our allotment. Uh, we'll speak to you soon. Take, Take care. care. Bye. God bless.